Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today is going to be a little unboxing and mail call. I just got two packages in today. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. I, I traded for one of them and I bought the other one back in January, but just haven't opened it. But first one up is going to be a little Amazon package. Um, the actual item is this big, but they sent it in a whole... <laughs> Uh, packing this big old envelope here. So let's, uh, let's open it up. I don't, I don't see a actually. Is this it? Yeah, I got my cheap old Remington knife here. So hopefully I can open it up with this. Uh, let's see here. All right, it is sharp enough to open the envelope. And here we go. <clears throat> so this one is a uh, interesting one because I didn't know the razor um, This blade is specific to a razor that I have bought recently. This is the feather plier Hair shaper blade. So if you guys remember a couple nail calls ago I got the, the Vec hair shaper and also the feather feather sculptress razor. I haven't seen that anywhere I just got it in a lot and I thought both of them took in hair shaper blades, but the feather razor takes in this one, feather plier blade and it's shaped differently than like the Persona or the Annie uh, hair shaper blades. These are, uh, I think pretty unique. I haven't seen any reviews on these, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping that it, <laughs> that it uh, shaves well, but you got this transparent packaging, so this is pretty nice. And I think this is uh, fairly affordable. I would say it was around $10, maybe 12. But yeah, I'm excited to try these ones out and take them out for a shave. So feather plier blades, <clears throat> excited for that. And the next one up is a package <laughs> with the razor company tape, but it's not from the razor company. Um, the guy I traded with, I guess uh, he used a box from Razor Company. Uh, but let's see here, how do I open this one up? <clears throat> I think I might have to... Can I open it without cutting the tape? Razor Company tape? Nah, I think I have to cut it up. So, actually, is it? Alright, I will. on the side just give me a second here side and this one's good all right so this is what I got <clears throat> all right so first one up I traded for a set of this I usually don't get a set uh, only set that I have is uh, what's the what's the brand stubble busters game because I was uh, piffed that set. Oh, actually, I also have the Tobacco Oud, which uh, Ken piffed to me or yeah, give it as a gift. But this one, I just saw it. So I wanted to try it out and I had some stuff to trade. So just went for it. Don't know if I will be using this set all the time. Uh, I might at least try it out once, but uh, I might just sell the splash or something because, oh yeah, I don't want to. <sighs> All right. So this one is a set of Varys Man Leviathan. I believe this is in the Omnibus base. Yes, it is. Omnibus base, Leviathan. I did try a sample of this sample of soap before and I enjoyed it. Um, first sniff of it was a little bit polarizing. I got a little bit too much of that dark, uh, smoky on this, but the more I smell it, the more I'm enjoying the coffee and the leather notes. So uh, it's been scooped out once, but uh, let's give it a scent test. Oh, I could smell it from here. So it's quite bold and meh. Maybe not bold and bangy, but close to there. Ooh. Yeah, the coffee and the leather note is very, 
it's 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 very nice. This is not my type of scent, but um, for some reason I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and speaking of coffee, I have a mug of coffee here, Captain's Choice mug. I got the Jose's uh, vanilla nut coffee. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> and next one up is is a razor. Final mail call. Uh, let me just tear out the tape. And this one is known as one of the most aggressive razors out there. Actually, I'm just gonna cut it. The bubble wraps really quick. I don't wanna damage the razor though. Come on. Man. Alright, I got it. So, yep, this is known as one of the most aggressive razors out there. Because on its highest setting, it can be quite a menacing one. But, ooh, I like the weight on this. This is the Mercure Futur, or Future. I like to call it Futur because it doesn't have an E at the end. But this is heavier than I expected. Um, huh, a little bit of a... It could use a wash. I think there are some... Um, I'm not sure if it's... Soap scum or just the plating wearing out, but I did trade for this, so um, I did get a used razor, and it's starting from one. Let me see, how do I? Alright, so this is the Mercor Futur in the I believe the um, satin finish. So here's how it looks. I've seen some examples of corrosion in the cap here. But this one seems pretty good so far. I'm trying to take care of it uh, so that it lasts for a long time. Uh, all right, I see some dings on the bottom. Whatever. I didn't see the details there, but um, the razor will do fine, I believe. Okay, so I can't, I can't adjust from the bottom, but I have to adjust from the top here. So. This is set at one, so all right, so it goes this way. All right, up to six. Got it, got it. Oh, that's why. Hmm. All right. Yeah, the the, the turning is a little bit, which we call it, it's a little bit stiff. It's not as flexible or as smooth as other adjustable razors like the Progress. So, but it's interesting. Wondering how to put this on correctly. Is this right? Can I do it the other way? Sorry, <laughs> I'm just experimenting with experimenting with this. Okay, I think it goes on both ways. And then to adjust, I would have to yeah, hold on to the top and then move it around this way. At six, there is Quite a bit of blade gap there, so goes from one to six, and if I go back to one. The blade gap is a lot less. So yeah, excited to put this out for a run. Um, there are some dings around the razor. Ah, there's another one there too. I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah, I think the razor will work fine. Um, I did trade for it, so yeah, excited to give it a run. One thing that I really like about it is the heft. This is quite a hefty razor. Um, not as much as my Yaki Monster, but <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I think I'll enjoy it. And the satin finish, I think I uh, prefer that to a polished one because I think polish will uh, be a little bit more slippery on the hands. And given that there is no knurling here other than this little dimple, or this little, um, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> bend. But um, yeah, decided to give it a try. Another long video for some reason. I shouldn't have uh, experimented with this. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys will see this product in the near future. This is Tim Shiz, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.